Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. We are back, finally reacting to another episode of The Expanse. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I apologize for that, but we are back reacting to season five, episode nine. This one is called like Winnipesaukee or something. It's the name of the island that uh, Clarissa and Amos are going to try and get to along with um, Eric. So they're going to try and find the rich person island full of all the yachts and stuff so that they can take off and leave the planet. Um, another, the other big thing that happened last episode was um, Naomi was trying to stop the, the the distress signal that was going out because it's designed to lure the Rosinante in and blow it up. So she tried to do something to that um, and she was able to just slightly ad adjust it, like cut it in and out so it sends a different message and if I remember correctly, um, the message it sent that she changed it to is like, this is Naomi Nagata, tell James Holden I'm in control or something like that. Um, so I doubt the mean lady that's with Drummer currently is going to be happy about that. Um, and Drummer might try and shoot her in the face because <laughs> she hates her. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna jump into this episode. Uh, if you like what you see, please leave a like on the video. If you wanna see more, subscribe. And if you wanna see the full length reaction or just support me in general, head down to my Patreon. It is linked in the description. Um, but other than that, let's check this out. The free Navy mourns our allies who died in this valiant effort. But it was worth the price. He's just like totally willing to let his people die. He doesn't care at all. He's so mad. <laughs> that really seemed random to you. It's not. It's not random. All we could do is get there as fast as we can. We don't exactly have fuel to waste. And I'll see if we can increase up. You got so much fuel. What is that? Would she like scrape off some of that condensation and then lick it <laughs> for water? Smart, smart. You just gotta keep doing that. Just go get more of that uh, ice water. And then you'll be fine. Unle until the ship blows up, that is. <laughs> Lake Winnipesaukee, the estates. They all got their launch pads. I think they run into resistance, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure though. You really know how to fly one of these? Yeah. It's not like it's hard. <laughs> Anything that's worth money is in the house. Just take what you want. Thanks. Why are you guys hiding in here? We saw your helicopter landing. It wasn't marked you when. We thought if you were coming to steal, you'd go to the house. This is the one we're here to steal. My name's Clarissa. You and your sister <laughs> spent the entire time fighting. And my mom made Thanks. us. Who gives a fuck? Business first. Tearful reunions later. Where's the family that lives here? Are those messages that they, uh, they wish they could have sent, or maybe they are trying to send in case those people ever you son of a bitch. find something? Follow up strikes. I'm expanding the palace initiative. The only thing we should be discussing is how to spin this strike as a limited military objective. And make it clear that we are not at war with the belts. We are at war with the belts. Adam, I respect you feel differently, but... Be honest. Is an extremist. She and knows more know. than all of you. As much. If we continue to attack civilian targets. The way Inaros did to us. Is he our role model now? No, yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to be Marco? My job is to make our people safer and to reduce the enemy's ability to... Going to war is not going to make your people safer. 
You think I don't go to sleep every night dreaming about putting Marco Inaris on the hooks? Watching him gasp for air and making his children watch him draw his final breath because he murdered my husband. My Arjun is dead. And I'd sacrifice everything to bring him back. And right now... She's admitting it. Who loves for every partisan we killed, we made ten more. Yeah, I don't... How do they not understand this? I am truly sorry for your loss. But we can't let emotion make these choices. You... We have to be rational. Uh, you blew up civilians on an emotional response. There are millions of people in Syria. Hundreds of thousands of children. What are the scenarios for a full-scale attack? Is the oh my god, come on. I will not be a part of this. Are you stepping down? Yes, sir. Fine. I accept your resignation. You're dismissed. These guys suck. You'll have to accept mine as well, sir. Jesus, Dane. And mine. We're supposed to be better than this. That's what's up. When over half your staff quits, you know you're making a bad decision. <laughs> Especially when you're talking about murdering hundreds of thousands of children. Like, and being okay with that? No. no. We just need so, we will keep your silence. Understood? Understood. I hate this lady so much. And if she goes along with this, I hate her too. Whatever's causing a reactor shutdown, it has to be mechanical, electrical, or software. Oh. Which means it could be one of anything that exists. Teachers and I can handle the mechanical and the electrical, but I'm no debugger. If it's a computer problem, we're gonna need some help. Could be a security protocol, some kind of. Hi, we're not here to evacuate you or give you anything, so fuck off. You have to help us, please. We're just more off season. We're trying to fix the shuttle in that hangar and take it up to Luna. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. You guys are welcome to come. What the There's fuck? not enough room for everybody. You want my help fixing that ship? We don't leave anyone behind who wants to come. Amos is on her side. Anyone wants to leave better be at this hangar by the time the ship is ready. We're not waiting. You understand? Towing together, you will intercept and engage the Rosinante. Destroying it is your first and only priority. Make sure it is done. Good hunting. Yeah, no one's gonna yell it with the enthusiasm that you're yelling it. Screw you. You said that the Rasenate was burning to a trap. If that's true, why pick the fight? So that the free Navy can be seen killing a symbol of assimilation and compromise. The team that has kept the belt on it. <laughs> you pledge your loyalty and the lives of you. To Marco Inaris. You withdrawing that gate? If it needs to be done, we will do it. She knows something's up, though. She would gladly replace all of you with, with Naomi. And I will search for you there. <sighs> it's essentially kind of like a big cemetery, but they don't have any bodies. Wow, that's that's really nice. I like that, but it's I don't want to say that's cool because it's <laughs> obviously a bunch of dead people. Three more cabinet ministers just resigned, and no confidence vote is being scheduled for tomorrow. Madam Avazarella, if you were nominated to lead us again, would you serve? She would. <laughs> Better a Martian and an Earther go to a bar. <laughs> right. We didn't hear the end of this joke before. You never finished it. The Earther says, 
give me a shot of the finest belter liquor you have. Best the belt has to offer. The bartender says, because it helps you think like your enemy. And the earther says, no, because I'm trying to drink less. The best the belt has to offer is terrible. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It used to be funnier. That's true. It probably did used to be funnier. Now that the, the best they have to offer is now blowing up your planet. Hello, I'm in charge of private security for one of Pasaki Island. Chief Rent-A-Cop. One alert, sir. And in the meantime, we believe it's best to have all food and other supplies moved to a central location for efficient distribution. You're just taking the food. This is the most pathetic shakedown I've ever seen. You must be new at this. <laughs> they, this is their job, man. They used to do this for a living. Why don't you blow me, right boy? No one here is giving you anything. Being unreasonable if you could complain to the other. Stop it! Get <laughs> out of the way. Peaches. We don't have to do this. You know these guys are gonna come back, right? There's gonna be a fight. She's uh she's trying to do the right thing. But it's not necessarily the so smart thing. Wrong. Don't treat me like a child. I've earned the truth. Marco killed Clay's Ashford, and I sat on my hands and played nice with him so you would be safe. He killed a woman I love, and now he wants me and mine to murder her friends. And I go along again. How much shit do I have to eat before you treat me with some respect? Damn right, drummer. Do we mean as much to you as she did? No. Not even a little bit. I need to hear you say it. Not at all. <laughs> it's possible that Naomi is still alive on that ship. Marco wants us to kill the So, what's up with the. I forgot what's it broken on it. Yeah. Why? Why do you call him Timmy? It's his real name. What's his name. Should I ask? I wouldn't. I don't want to leave everything behind and start all over again. Yeah, that that takes a that takes some some guts. No one starts over. Because no one really leaves anything behind. You take everything with you. Everything that you've been carries into who you are. On the road, he said we were a tribe of two. But if we hadn't teamed up with you guys, we'd be dead now. We were stronger because our tribe grew. I'm still not sure what your collection of scullery maids and butlers is adding to the team. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Team morale. Maybe just be if we decided to include everyone in our tribe without demanding that they prove we need them, maybe people wouldn't have thrown rocks at us in the first place. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It fucking worked. Okay, I'll secure everything down here. Hey. Let's get the Those guys are definitely going to be back We're though. Out of the trees. No Who? You Stop gone. Out. There's a lot more of them. Oof. Ooh, they're breaking in there too. Oh. Take his gun. <laughs> Did he get hit? There's people still in, like, inside, though. She killed them all with her bare hands. I'm gonna be a lot nicer to her from now on. 
<laughs> oh my god, there's like 18 people there. Yeah, she's not making it. Her name's Hutch. Is she gonna make it? No way. Surprising. Yeah, you wanna fly that ASAP? And they get cooked. I don't think Hutch lived. I think she's gone. But hey! We are suborbital. But I think Clarissa will probably need that healing thing as well. Unless she's just taking a fat nap. Are those bullet scuffs or just frost? Because if those are bullet scuffs, you're going to want to get her in the other room. <laughs> All because of you. She's alive. She's alive, pal. She left us both. Again. Uh. <laughs> Don't hug him. He should be beating you up, man. You're the worst dad ever. She ain't giving up. What's her plan now? Like what? I forgot what she does. Is this the end of the episode? Metallic clanking. Oh, come on. That's the end of the episode. What the frick, man? Okay, another solid episode. Uh, so we start off with, um, what do we start off with? So we, we kind of start off with a, a little bit of the aftermath of last episode. So all these people are learning about Naomi's adjusted signal and how she might be alive. Um, and because of that, Marco is going to send five ships to destroy the Rosinante because one, he doesn't want her to be alive. <laughs> so he is like, he believes, you know, she's smart. He, he knows she's smart. So he figures she will fix this somehow. Like if she was already smart enough to change the signal and, and she's alive, like someone is going to help her and she's most likely smart enough to disable the bomb somehow, <laughs> uh, you know, he probably has no idea how she's going to do that. And I honestly forgot how she does that. Um, but he knows she's smart enough to the, to for it not to matter. Like, she'll get it done somehow. And he doesn't want her to be alive. And he doesn't want the Rosinante to be alive. So he's like, all right, I'm going to send five ships to blow the Rosinante up so they can't help her. And then she'll, you know, starve and die. Uh, and eventually she'll be on course for something. I think she's on course for series, uh, I think. And so she'll reach there, but the proximity sensor will blow her up and kill a whole bunch of people. And then he could be like, oh, the, the UN killed our ship or whatever. Um, so that's not good. The main thing that happened this episode that we focused on was Amos and Peaches on the Rich People Islands, why the, why the episode is called the Winnipesaukee. Um, I think that is a real island or set of islands or whatever. Um, but all these rich people are here and they find this shuttle in a rich person's house and the staff is there. Um, and I had forgotten this until, until they mentioned it, but 
in the books, they do have to fix and, and repair this ship. I don't remember how they, if it's the same issue as, uh, as in the books, but I do remember that. Ooh, let's talk about kind of like the moral. I think, I think this, this episode had a lot of moral questions that were very interesting, um, including, you know, Peach is trying to do the right thing of being like, let's help all these, all these people. And Eric and Amos having almost the, you know, because they came from the hard Baltimore streets, they have the mentality of like, every man for themselves, like, we can't afford to be taking these people on. But she's like, we need to do the right thing. And, th and that's what Amos is trying to be not necessarily a good man, but a man who tries to be good. Um, and so he he caves and he's like, okay, like, fine, anyone here, who is not here when this takes off, like we're leaving you, but we will let you come with if you're here, which I think is great. And they, it's not like they had to be on the ship for weeks at a time. Like there's a short, a short flight. I think, I think a, a, a direct flight from earth to the moon is like anywhere from like one to three hours or something like that now. So it might be more efficient in the future, but I, I like that he is at least trying to be a good man. <laughs> um, but the other big moral thing that happened, so last episode or the episode before, they're talking about whether or not they're gonna bomb Palace Station uh, because they had harbored some uh, Inaros, you know, loyalists or whatever. And she was, uh, Officer Ala was like, no, we can't kill innocent belters. And then behind her back, the Admiral guy gives his opinion to the Secretary General. Secretary General follows it and they blow up Palace Station without telling her. Like they didn't bring her in, bring the whole cabinet in and be like, all right, we've come to the decision. This is what we're doing. They just did it. And they were like, sucks to suck. And he's like, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. And then immediately transitions to, all right, let's think of some follow-up strikes that we can do. And it's like, no, <laughs> like we're not at war with them. Like they, a few, like the way she, I, like you can say like we're at war, but we're not at war with all of the Belters. <laughs> like there's enough of the Belters that don't like Marco that that bombing all their loved ones will make it so they do <laughs> like and she literally brings up she's like i want to watch this man suffer and die and i want his children to watch him suffer and die because he killed my husband and she's like you just did that to all the loved ones of everyone who is on palace like all of those people hate you now you want to do that to millions of more belters, including children. <laughs> and she brings up there's hundreds of thousands of innocent belter children on this on this station. The Admiral and the Secretary General are like, that's fine. And it's like, how do they, and, and he has the audacity to be like, we can't let emotions dictate this, but you are letting emotions dictate this. Like you want revenge. You don't want, like a, a proportional response to Marco and attacking Marco directly. You want revenge on him killing people that you deemed, like people probably he didn't even know, but like be like, oh, you, you attacked us and innocence on our planet. We're gonna attack innocence on your planet. And she's like, what? Is he our god dang role model now? Like, no, <laughs> this is not how we go about things. I resign. And she gets up and she's like, I'm done. I, re I resign. And then like half of the other staff at the table is like, I resign as well. And it's just like, yo, like if you are making these high level decisions and like, for instance, say you're in the United States government, you are the president, the vice president, secretary general, all these people in the war room at the White House or whatever. And you're thinking of uh, of 
a, a military operation and half of half of the staff like half of the high level staff like the vice president the you know speaker of the house senators all stand up and they're like i will not go along with this i resign my position like if you if if half of your government staff just straight up is like i resign you know you're doing some messed up stuff <laughs> like you cannot just be okay with doing that um and then when she goes and and gives her message to arjun um because you know that's it's like a memorial almost uh another staffer comes in is like three more of them left uh and we're gonna hold a vote of no confidence and we want you to be the new secretary general again will you do it obviously yes so i knew this was coming at some point because because i read the book so i knew at some point uh avasarala is put back in charge i think i don't remember if in the books maybe they explored it in a novella but i don't remember in the books them having to go through this process to put her back in charge. I think she was just kind of like the obvious choice once uh, Nancy Gao died. Um, but I may be m remembering wrong. Um, but so, and then, but smartly, she goes to that Admiral dude and she's like, yo, I know that you are just advocating for killing 100,000 Belter children but I want you on my staff. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean you want me on your staff? And it's like, well, one, I don't want someone on my team who's just gonna say yes to everything I want. Uh, you know, she literally just saw the dangers of that uh, with the guy she was just working for, of like, if everyone here just says yes, they just start killing innocent belters left and right. So she's like, I don't want someone who's just gonna go along with everything I say. She's like, you, you know, I know you, I trust you, and you're not afraid of me. Like, you will say no when I say something stupid. So I hope he doesn't go on that combat mission, and I, I hope he stays on the team, but even though I hate his opinions, <laughs> uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, ooh, let's talk about Drummer a little bit. Drummer straight up is like being being sassy. She's like the she hears the plan and she's like, This plan's stupid. Why would I why would I do this plan? It makes no sense. If this is a trap to blow up the Rosinante, why are we trying to intercept them before they get there? Like that doesn't make any sense. And her stupid person is just like, just do it. Like I said, I said blow them up. Blow them up. Are you trying to take away your loyalty? I don't know why that just went hard, stereotypical French, but it did. Um, <laughs> and, you know, Drummer has to go to her, her wife, you know, her polyamorous uh, part of her wife. Uh, not part of her wife, but like a, what, her wife as part of her like polyamorous group. And she, And she's trying to explain to her why she's so pissed off she's like yo you killed ashford you killed fred johnson you killed a woman that i loved and now you just have you're telling me just to go along with it and be happy no how much do i have to eat until you put some god dang respect on my name <laughs> i'm kamina god dang drummer and it's like yo and she's like, her wife is like, do you love us? She's like, yeah, of course I love you. And she says, do you love us as much than you love Naomi? Or did you, did you love her more? Essentially being like, would, if you had to choose between her and us, who are you going to choose? And she's like, in the moment, she's like, I'm choosing you. Uh, which I think gave her the confidence to be like, she's not dead. <laughs> she's about to go immediately go shoot that girl in the face like she's like all right you're gonna die <laughs> um i wonder if if she will actually go along with the plan to fight the rosinante or if she will join the rosinante to fight marco's people it's tough because she 
she could go with her conscience and what she believes, or she could do what is perceived almost to be keeping her family safe. Um, and that's a tough one because she loves Naomi. I feel like if, if there was an opportunity for Naomi to be a part of this marriage thing, Drummer would jump on that chance. She would, she would do that in an instant and Naomi would become the new like main wife, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how, how Drummer goes about that. Um, <laughs> these people try and shake down Amos and Eric and Peaches and stuff. And they're like, they're like the security being like, Hey, so, uh, we got a central location where all the food's going. And <laughs> they're I mean, like, you guys suck at this. Like, this is not a good shakedown at all. <laughs> like, get out of here. Um, and then they come and they're like, you know, they're going to be back, right? <laughs> and they are, uh, they, they come back guns a blazing and what ensues is a pretty cool shootout uh, get to get off the planet. I don't remember, I think this ha this happened in the books, but I don't know if it happened quite exactly like this. I'm kind of surprised that everyone that's on the ship is fine. Um, did Hutch live? Hutch is the, the black girl he's talking to. I think Eric might be fine. Hope Peaches is fine. She was good enough to fly the ship, so I think she'll be fine. Um, and then, uh, oh, freaking Marco and Philip in Philip's room. He tells her, or he tells him, you know, your mother is not dead. She survived and escaped on the Chetsmoka. She left us both. And it's like, dude, of course he's going to frame it this way. Like, <laughs> also though, what do you expect? You brought your mom into like in front of the whole crew, slapped her in the face and said, we're going to kill all of your friends and family and make you watch. And there's nothing you can do about it. And then she bails. And now you're letting your dad be like, she abandoned us again. And it's like, no, you gave her no other choice. Like, how are you gaslighting this kid so freaking hard? And he's obviously mad. He throws his stuff around the room. He's furious uh, in the books. So in the show, it's, it's hard to tell exactly his emotions. In the books, it's a lot easier to tell like why he's upset. <sighs> yeah, I just, I... I hate Marco. He sucks. He's he's the worst father ever. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, in the books, it's a lot easier to tell what Philip is upset about. Because um, in the books, I think it makes it a lot more clear that he is really struggling with his actions, like the things he has done um, in Marco's name. And... I, th I think in the books, he like legit like abandons Marco. But I don't remember if or when he does that. Um, I, I, I thought he took a ship on his own and, and escaped. But I can't remember when. Um, and in the show, it's a lot more ambiguous about like his motives and what he's upset about. Um, but we kind of end... We, we end with Naomi uh, patching in, because uh, obviously these bombs are set up to detect when a ship is coming by. So they the bombs are hooked into Nav. And she noticed that there was like a, uh, on one of the, the cables or cords, it wasn't quite sealed right. And there was a loose, loose wire. So she could use that. She connects it to her helmet. And she has some semblance of an idea of where these people are. So Naomi has some semblance of where people are at, but she sees that they're still coming to get her. And she's like, brick, <laughs> like we cannot have this happen. So she is going back into the ship in between decks to do something. I forgot what she's doing. It has something to do with the water. Um, Cause she noticed the condensation on her, on her like gauntlet thing that she used to drink the water earlier. Uh, I don't remember, I don't know what she does. She does something, 
to fix this, and I don't remember what it is. Either way, this was a good episode. This is the penultimate episode of this of the season. So next episode is called Nemesis Games, which I believe was the 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 title of this book. It's either the title of this book or the next one. Um, but either way, I think it was a good episode. The season finale is next week, so make sure you're here for that. Um, but let me know what all your thoughts on this episode were. What did you, how do you feel about like the moral implications of everything that went down? Because I, I feel like I think of, about things a certain moral way that people, a lot of other people don't. And I think a lot of that comes from my faith background where I'm not okay with killing thousands of children. Let me know if you disagree, if you think it's the right idea to blow up Series Station, let me know. Uh, pretty much any any thought you have regarding this episode, if you watch it, comment something, anything. That These videos right now are getting like 100, over 100 views, so that should be over 100 comments. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, you know, let's start a conversation. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got, though. So if you, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see more of my reactions, whether it be to The Expanse, specifically the season finale of The Expanse next week, uh, or any other shows I'm watching, including WandaVision, uh, which is super crazy right now, the season finale of Bridgerton coming up, um, and then Falcon and Winter Soldier starting this next month. So lots of good shows coming. Make sure you're subscribed to know, to know when I upload about those. And then again, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode, or if you just want to support me in general, head down to my Patreon. It is linked in the description. Uh, but I think that's all I got. So I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.